The state has fined a local nursing home thousands of dollars for failing to protect one of its residents from abuse. Documents show that the man accused of the abuse was the person who was supposed to take care of residents. Our Team 10 investigator Melissa Macias spoke with critics who said the state is partly to blame. Parkway Hills Nursing and Rehabilitation in La Mesa fined $16,000 by the California Department of Public Health. In early 2020, the citation said the facility failed to protect resident one from sexual abuse when a certified nursing assistant entered her room and sexually abused her. While the citation does not name her, our partners at KPBS interviewed the resident who said she was the one CNA Matthew Flukiger assaulted. She said he told her to stay quiet. He was making his eyebrows go up and down and saying, I know where you live and, and, and your family and moving his eyebrows up and down like he was putting a spell on me or something. And then he says, so trust me, I know you're not going to say anything. Flukiger now faces five felony counts of lewd acts upon a dependent adult in connection with three elderly women. KPBS reported abuse allegations surfaced a few years before Parkway at other nursing homes. The facility itself didn't bother checking um, employment uh, history, didn't call former employers, so didn't get to uh, find out that this guy had a, a, a very troubling history. Attorney Mike Dark is with the California Advocates for Nursing Home Reform. He blames the nursing homes and the Department of Public Health. There were at least three instances of sexual uh, misconduct that had been reported to the state about this same individual before that fourth and final horrific attack took place. The state did nothing about it. Avocado Post Acute was also fined $2,000 for not self-reporting the abuse. Nobody there would comment. A Parkway spokesperson told me they would email me a statement, but as of 5 p.m. Monday, I hadn't received anything. California Department of Public Health has to be much more transparent and much more aggressive immediately to ensure these kinds of, of violations. Flukiger is in custody, being held on $1 million bail. His next court appearance is scheduled for August. I'm Melissa Masiha, Team 10. Team 10 asked the Department of Public Health why the CNA was able to transfer to various nursing homes. A spokesperson told us the state law does not require skilled nursing facilities to conduct criminal background checks, but many do. We also asked why fines were issued only recently when the alleged abuse happened in 2019 and 20, where we're told the penalty process doesn't start until after the investigation is complete.